I wanted to follow up on my breast lift with implant post yesterday and talk a little bit about some of the major problems I see in women getting augmentation. Um, augmentation can be pretty straightforward for a lot of women, especially if they're not large breasted or they don't have any droopiness, okay? So the issue becomes if you're larger breasted or you have uh, droopiness, extra skin, or a lower nipple position. If you have any degree of droopiness, or a larger breasted with droopiness, then you need <clears throat> some type of breast lift procedure, okay? One of the biggest mistakes I see is uh, a lot of surgeons are not comfortable doing breast lifts or breast reduction with implants, and so what they will do is they will actually put the implant over the muscle so that that way the implant sits abnormally low with the rest of the breast um, and doesn't create a discrepancy between the implant position and the breast. The problem there is then you lose all the volume in your upper half of your breast, you get a lot of stretch and bottoming out, the nipples end up sunny side up if they're um, too high, uh, in that case as it stretches out below it, and it's a very common reason for needing revision in a short amount of time. And to do a revision then requires a lift and converting you below the muscle, and then it starts to get more complex, there's higher rates of complications, especially if this surgeon has made incisions around the nipple that can compromise blood flow to the nipple. So there are very few patients who really should ever have their implants placed above the muscle. Usually it's a compensation by the surgeon who does not offer a lift or is uncomfortable doing that. So usually place them under the muscle and if that nipple starts to droop where it's out of position, then think about getting a breast lift with implants. And I'm not just talking about a lift around the areola, because very few people are good candidates for that. That creates a lot of tension around the areola, thickening of scars, and does nothing to address the extra skin on the bottom as well. So the occasional patient with a tuberous or sort of um, V-shaped breast might benefit from that, but very few patients are candidates for that. So if your surgeon starts talking about putting the implants above the muscle, or starts talking about using a larger implant to make up for your extra skin, seek an additional consultation because those are red flags in my opinion and should not be done. So follow those rules and as I always say, your first surgery should be your lifetime surgery. It should really only last your entire lifetime. Um, and you don't wanna to have to be coming back and having redos and redos like the patient I saw two days ago who's on her third breast surgery within the first five years just because she had her first ones placed above the muscle. Um, and so you don't wanna end up down that road. It gets very expensive and it can be very complex uh, to the point where you end up with higher rates of complications to where it can almost be unfixable. So again, make sure you're seeing board certified plastic surgeons, make sure you're seeing an expert in breast surgery and breast implant surgery uh, as well, and you'll do well. Thanks.